So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you some things that you should do and should not forget. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tell you how to upgrade your team fast. And I'm gonna show you my new upgraded team as well as what I'm planning to do next. So hopefully you're gonna enjoy it. Make sure to like this video if you do and subscribe to my channel for more mobile 22 content. So first of all, obviously we've got the spring showdown event here. Uh, we're getting one showdown ticket every single day and uh, six spring baskets every single day, which means you should go ahead and claim this every single day. You should not miss out. Uh, one, even one day because at the end uh, you're getting 92 rated player of your choice or 2 million coins if you want to go ahead and choose that. So uh, you should not miss any of that because if you miss even one day you will not be able to go to this far and get one of the 92 overalls or 2 million coins. And also when you go ahead and claim this obviously you need to play these matches. I haven't played for, for days but I can go ahead and play them uh, whenever I want. I can play them uh, in two or three days and play them at the same time or I can play them um, right now. For example, I'm gonna go ahead and play one right now and I'm gonna get a new logo, right? The new egg logo. So let's go ahead and see what we got in this one. We've got easy, easy uh, skill game right there. We need to go ahead and hit uh, the, what is it? Um, green windows three times. There we go, very, very easy indeed. And we can go ahead and continue to the next one. As I said, I'm gonna get a reward. Uh, I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get this logo right there, Spring logo. But every single day you are getting um, skill boosts, uh, coins, or obviously a guaranteed 88 plus player, just like that 88 plus Spring Break player. So make sure to go ahead and do that. And obviously when you go ahead and get uh, Spring baskets, you should spend them in egg hunt. Don't forget to spend them on this one though on bird bird hunt bird house sorry because this is the best way to progress through the milestone and get very very far in this milestone um as you can see there is 90 rated Thierry Henry if you want to go ahead and try to get him you should spend all your all your points on bird house because you are getting you you've got a very very good chance to get your uh spring baskets back as well as eggshell which is very very good as you can see this is pretty much perfect pack for me this was pretty much a perfect one because we go spring basket back as well as we go eggshell again. Again, that's that's a perfect one. Uh, so yeah, make sure to go ahead and do this. Then obviously we've got, let me go ahead and see what I get there. This was not a good one though. Right. Also, we've got another video going on, uh, UEFA Champions League. Uh, it, it's gonna be until this Thursday, I believe. And this Thursday, we are gonna get a new uh, team of the season event. This is this is my thought. Anyways, I think we're gonna get a new team of the season event. Yes, this both uh this both last until this Thursday, and it's right time to go ahead and get team of the season event. As I said though, we've got UEFA Champions League event. Uh, here obviously you can still play three skill games and a match every single 12, 12 hours to go ahead and get UCL tokens as well as round of sixteen points. With this round of sixteen points. Now you're opening round 16 pack where you can get uh, some players as well as uh, at the end uh, you will be able to get an icon and with now uh, UCL tokens of course you are opening these packs right there to then get group group points and get 93 rated players with this. Uh, so if you've got any more 93 rated players to go, if you haven't got, if, if you can get any, if you can get one more 93 rated player, you should go ahead and grind this UEFA Champions League. 100% but I'm not grinding too much because I think I'm not gonna be able to get one more Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and open this pack. Let's see if you're gonna be lucky and get that get a player Nope, I'll take skill boost. I'll always always take skill boost. Also um, We've got a, a lantern even still running obviously and if you go uh, if you claimed lantern points every single day You will be able to get money right now. I cannot do it. I can do it two in two days because uh, I forgot to claim for a couple of days or two days, I guess, or two or three days. Um, I forgot to claim him. But if you did every single day, you will be able to get money. If you didn't, though, and if you missed a couple of days, just like me, you will still be able to get this money. And this money obviously isn't too great, but with this card, you will be able to get his 93 rated uh, left mid version that I am actually planning to do. This card right there. You can go ahead and put his 90 rated card there. You can go ahead and put any four lantern players, for example, this four, then any 90 rated player 
um, you can put anyone, maybe therefore because he's untradeable and you will get him for free. But if you don't want to, you can put um, any 90 rated player. So for example, Kafu, even though I'm not going to put him, I'm going to buy uh, one for like 400, 500k maybe. And I'm going to put them. And also you need to put 2080 pluses. If you don't have 2080 pluses, you need to go ahead and buy them, of course. Um, they're about 120k, I think, 120 to 130k, not that expensive. Uh, so you will be able to get this 92 rated money card very, very easily. And I will definitely suggest doing it because he has got a great, great card. He will be a very, very good player at that last mid position. But now uh, about my team. As I said, I'm planning to get that 92 rated money and put him uh, in my last mid position. Right now, my team is 110 overall. Recently, as you know from one of my latest videos, I've upgraded my team uh, to 110 overall. It used to be 107, then 108. Now it's 1010. Um, and you know, I got Eusebio and Rosilon as well as Manolas and Carvajal as well as uh, Casillas in goal. Uh, but what I'm planning to do is I'm gonna change my worst attack formation to 4 4 2 and the right mid. I'm gonna get Rafinha because uh, for left mid, obviously, I'm getting money. So I'm gonna have uh, money at left mid. I'm gonna just change my formation right now as well. I'm gonna have where is four for two flat there we go i'm gonna have this formation and um a left wing okay it's it's all mixed up um a left wing no i shouldn't have done that i'm gonna have um money instead of vinicius and the right wing i'm gonna have rafinha instead of or instead of Mares, this is gonna upgrade my team a little bit and also i'm gonna have a better i'm gonna have better players because Rafinha, in my opinion, is better than Mares, and uh, Mane is definitely better than Vinicius. And uh, the way to upgrade your team fast is to go ahead and claim a lot of skill boosts. As you can see, my skill boosts are at uh, 13 overall for most players, for, for some players maybe. Um, and for some, it's uh, it's at 12 level, level 12. I can go ahead and upgrade most of them uh, to level 12 though. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Not right now, but in a bit. In a couple of days, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And yeah, as I said, try to get skill balls from every single event, from UEFA Champions League event, uh, from League versus League wins, from those league points, um, from pretty much daily training. You can go ahead and get loads of uh, skill balls with, um, with some events in this, uh, in this game. So I'll definitely suggest doing that because upgrading them is the best way to upgrade your team as well. And obviously, whenever you get a high-rated player, you can go ahead and put them in your team. Let me know also what your team overall is down in the description. As I said, my team overall is 110 overall. I'm gonna go ahead and change my team back to 4 to 4 because I'm gonna get one, uh, 110 overall with that. 4 to 4, there we go. And we need to change my player still, right? So mana loss there, and that should be it. Yeah, 110 overall. I'm quite happy with that. In goal, I go Casillas because he's the highest rated player I've got. I actually don't like him too much. I played a couple of head to head games with him. And it's not really that great. I still think Mainan is better. So for head to head, I think I'm going to be using Mainan instead of Casillas still, even though he's at 93 and Casillas is at 99 because I'm not happy with how Casillas plays. But for our attack, just because of the overall, I'm going to have Casillas in goal. As I said, let me know down in the comment section your team and let me know which player, which player in your team is the best one. For me, I would say the best player in my team is this Eusebio card. Even though I love Mbappe as well, this is a blue card. His finishing is just too good. I love him a lot. I love him a lot. I think he's the best one, the best player in my team. He is actually going up in price as well, which is good. But anyways, this is going to be the end of the video for today. Please make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more and take care. Goodbye and peace.